Hey guys! So I'm gonna try this vlogging thing again. I'm not really good at vlogging. Okay, I need to find some good light. See, this just proves I'm not very good at vlogging. But it is officially, it's like a week and a half until I leave for my wedding. And I figured it would be really cool to do like wedding vlog, like leading up to the wedding vlog. I'm definitely not gonna vlog at my wedding because I wanna be in the moment and I'm gonna be with my family and all of that. Oh my God, okay, so I got this pop socket which I can't show you because it's on my phone and I figured it would make vlogging a lot easier and it's actually just making it a little bit harder. So yeah, today is Friday and then I have one full week and then Monday of the following week and then we leave on Tuesday. So what is that, like 16 days? No, oh my God, I can't count. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 days before we leave. And it is down to the wire and I'm doing all the last minute wedding stuff today. Well, not today, but this week. Um, so today I'm getting my final wedding dress fitting, which is super exciting. And then next week I have a laser hair removal appointment. I have my, I have to go pick up my wedding dress. I have a hair appointment. Uh, we have our dance lessons. Matt and I have been taking dance lessons, which is really super exciting. So we have our final dance lesson. Um, maybe I can actually put this down and talk to you guys so it's not all wobbly. Nope, okay, well this pop socket is making things really super strange. Um, yeah, so. Anyways, it's kind of crunch time. Um, I haven't really packed a whole lot. I haven't started packing my personal stuff at all. For those of you who are unfamiliar, I am doing a destination wedding, which is super exciting. By the time this vlog goes up, um, we will already be married and I'll be already be back from my wedding. So um, in this vlog, I'm gonna show you guys lots of stuff that I haven't really shown on camera yet, like my wedding dress and um, yeah, I'm just, I'm really excited. It's, it's getting really exciting, you guys. So yeah, it's, I have a couple of packages I'm waiting for. So I've done everything really I need to do up until this point, um, except for my wedding dress fitting today, of course, but I'm waiting for packages. I have two Etsy packages that I'm waiting for. One of them is our sand ceremony frame. So instead of doing a sand ceremony into a vase, we're actually gonna do it into a photo frame, which I thought was really cool, and that way we can put one of our wedding photos on it. I ordered that in April. I ordered that April 2nd. Today is May 11th, so it's been over a month and I haven't gotten that yet, so I'm getting a little nervous because, you know, we leave in 12 days. Um, and I also ordered a guest book off of Etsy that I'm waiting for, so those two packages I need. I also ordered some long sleeve rash guards from Athleta because we're doing destination wedding. We're gonna be at a beach resort three days before our wedding, actually three and a half days before our wedding. And I don't wanna get sunburned or get weird tan lines. So I bought a long sleeve rash guard. For those of you who aren't familiar, it's kind of like a UVB, is that the right acronym? Protectant um, to just help block out the sun. No, no, what are you doing? What are you doing? She's running around like crazy. Um, I also got, how do I flip this camera around? I don't think I can flip it around. Okay, um, I got some water shoes in the mail today as well. These actually look super small. So I'm a size eight and I ordered a medium, which is usually what a size eight is and these look so small. But because we're gonna be on the beach and we're probably gonna be doing like water sport things, like jet skiing and stuff, I figured I should get some water shoes. I'm gonna try to put these on my feet and see. I just got home from work. I really need to go to my dress fitting, but, oh, no, they fit. They fit okay, I guess. Probably, oh, see if I can show you guys. I don't know how well that's going to be in frame. They fit okay, I mean, they're a little snug, but I think a size bigger would have been too big. Got those on Amazon, by the way. So, oh, that's not working. Matt got me flowers the other day which is what those flowers are. So yeah, I need to go get my wedding dress. So let me show you guys, I'm so excited. Here's the beginnings of our packing. This is all of our wedding favors. So the favors that we're going to be giving to our bridesmaids, our groomsmen, our parents, and our guests, we've already pre-packed. So we have three things of luggage that is strictly wedding favors. We also made this thank you sign. Um, so I've already, 
talked via email to the photographer and he suggested bringing a thank you sign to take a photo with when we're all, you know, dressed up in our gear on our wedding day to send out like as our thank you card. So I handmade this, which is kind of cool. I got all this stuff from Etsy. I got, or not Etsy, um, Michaels and I got spray paint glitter and I made that, which is really cool. And then my wedding dress is in our guest closet. There she is. So for those of you who live in Arizona, I bought this at Azteca Bridal. I'm sure many of you are familiar with Azteca Bridal if you live in Arizona. Um, here she is. So I actually got this fitted. I ordered a size up. So I ordered a size up from what I typically probably should have ordered. And I got it fitted about two months ago. So I can't imagine it's not going to fit me, but I'm just being that worried bride, you know, and I'm like, oh my God, what if I lost an inch? And then that inch is gonna make all the difference in the world. So I'm going in today to just have one final fitting. So my veil is on top, it's an ivory colored veil. And then, you can't really tell, I need to kind of take it out of the bag. Um, so it is champagne and ivory, so there's this underlay of champagne, and then the dress itself is ivory lace so that's the back right there and this is the train so pretty Ugh. okay let me take it out and show you so here let me see if I can scoop back a little bit is what the back looks like and this is with the bustle undone I have a French bustle on it oh the strap so there is straps right here and there's buttons all the way down. This is by Allure Bridal, by the way. This style is 9422, I believe. Um, I'll put it in the description box if you're interested, but here is what the back looks like. It has this sheer mesh right here, which is so beautiful. And then the lace itself is ivory. I think this mesh, they're, they're calling it nude. I don't know, oh, I, I cut the tag off of it. I wanna say the, the mesh, mesh is nude, the lace is ivory, and then the under part is champagne. So yeah, here's what the back looks like. Oh my God, it's so pretty. I have not found a dress that I love more than this. It's just absolutely perfect and beautiful so there's the back and then the front so here is what the front looks like so pretty so it's a little bit more sheer like in this area there isn't an underlay right here so that'll kind of just be I don't want to say my skin because it's well it will be there's like two layers of mesh but it doesn't have this like underlay so there's that and then I did get a bra sewn into it and then the top goes up kind of it doesn't it's not a turtleneck but it does go up kind of high and then it's a deep cut right there so pretty I'm gonna insert some photos of me trying it on so you guys can see what it looks like on because on the hanger it is not as pretty as it is on it's just it is gorgeous and then underneath there is a couple layers of tool to make just the bottom part fluffy. I want to say this is the trumpet silhouette is what they told me. So not quite mermaid. It's like a half mermaid, I guess. I don't know, but there it is. I guess instead of having like a final dress fitting, most people, I'm just going to put this on the couch for now since Matt is at the gym. Um, most people just have like their mom or their sister or their friend or whatever kind of help them try on their dress But I don't have anybody like that here to help me So I'm just taking it back to the dress shop and I actually called them ahead of time and I was like, hey I got my dress altered there like two months ago and I just I don't have anybody to help me try it on and I'm getting married in a week or two weeks or whatever and would I be able to bring it there to like try it on with you guys? And they were like, oh, of course, like bring it in. And I think that's probably better because then if it does need alterations, like I'll already be there. And they said it would only take a couple of days. So I am going to wipe off. I do have like some bronzer down my neck. So I'm going to wipe that off before I go because I don't want to risk getting any makeup on my dress. And then <sighs> final fitting.
here's some other little bits and bobs that I'm going to be bringing with me. So I guess I've kind of started packing, not really packing, but gathering things. So this is, I actually showed you guys this in my bridesmaid gift video. Um, I bought one for myself as well, and I have it filled with all of my wedding accessories. I just don't want to forget. So I have my little bride emergency kit that I showed you guys in my last Sephora haul. Our wedding bands are in here. Um, I have my bride undies are in here too. I got these as a gift for my bachelorette party. They say, whoop, misses on them. Um, what else is in here? Oh, Matt's gift is in here. His wedding gift, our garters are in here. My garters are in here. Um, my mom's something borrowed is in here. I have my bride robe. Um, my barefoot sandals. So just some bits and bobs that I want to make sure I don't forget. And then our vows, because we are going to do personal vows. I got this from Michael's, surprisingly. Our luggage tags. Look how cute. We probably need like five of these, though, because we have so much luggage. And then our passport covers. Look at how cute. And then I also got these. Oh, my God, I have so much stuff. Um, <laughs> these swimsuit cover-ups from Amazon, actually, and they're really cute. They're really super cute. It's going to be kind of hard to show you, but um, let me see. Sorry, there's like a bra hanging out. So here is, well, it's kind of hard to see, but it has like these little danglies on the bottom. So I got that. I got a long sleeve one and a black one. And then I ordered these shirts off of Etsy. I figured Matt and I could wear these like at some point before we get married maybe like on the way there so it says soon to be misses and it's so soft it feels like pajamas and then Matt's say one lucky mister so we'll probably wear these on the tuesday that we leave like on the plane because they are really soft and comfy like perfect travel clothes so yeah i'm not bringing this but this is cute too right miss to miss the official packing process has begun. Lily, what are you doing over there? That is trash, not for you. <laughs> so I've packed all my toiletries, minus the makeup, of course. I got our special perfumes. This is my like emergency kit that I'm bringing that has all of the like, hey, what if something happens? So there's bite, Bug Bite Itch Relief, Tide Pen, Super Glue, Lint Roller, Sewing Kit, Safety Pins, Shout Wipes, and Regular Wipes. So that's kind of my like emergency kit. Kind of a last minute purchase for my bridesmaids. I got them special hangers for their dresses and myself, of course. So the first one is for mine. But yeah, I got these off of Etsy. I figured they would probably need a hanger to hang their dresses on because, you know, we're flying to a different country. And most hotels and resorts, the hangers are like attached to the closet, like they have a loop and you can't take the hanger out. So I thought these would be really good for, you know, like photos of the dresses and stuff. So they're wooden and this is like engraved in there. So yeah, that was a last minute thing for my bridesmaids. And then I got all my swimsuits out. I'm still waiting for my athleta order where I have some long sleeve rash guards, but this is a tank top rash guard. Or, yeah, tank top. I was going to say short sleeve, but it's not short sleeve. It's definitely a tank top. All my swimsuits. I ended up with one, two, three, four, five, six swimsuits. Possibly seven. I got this one off of Etsy a while ago, but it looks like yellow. Like it's... I don't know it looks really weird but it does say bride on the back which is super duper cute but like I don't know it just looks kind of like dingy you know what I mean like old although I haven't ever worn it so I don't know why it looks like that so I might bring that one I might not I mean it is appropriate for the occasion most definitely but that would make seven so one swimsuit a day which might seem a little bit unrealistic but we are staying at a beach resort and I will probably be at the beach or the pool at least once a day so that is that I also have packed all of my lingerie so I have lingerie normal bras 
uh, normal undies are under right there. Two workout outfits. I don't know that I'm going to be actually working out, but I do think they have a gym there. So I might do a couple of workouts. I figured two workout outfits is probably fine. Um, sports bra and then some socks. So that's what I've packed so far. I'm dreading tackling the makeup. That's going to be a big one. I have all my outfits picked out. I just have to pull them out of the closet. So maybe I'll do that next. I also nearly had a breakdown today because I found out that the package, one of the packages I'm waiting for from Etsy, which is our sand ceremony frame, got lost. So I got the notification that it arrived via FedEx in Charlotte on the 3rd of May. Granted, I ordered this on April 2nd. So it's been over a month. Um, it arrived in Charlotte on the 3rd of May and it didn't move. It didn't say in transit. It didn't say out for delivery. It didn't do any of that. So I called, well, I emailed the Etsy person. I was like, Hey, what's the deal? And he was like, something is wrong. Call FedEx. So I called FedEx and they lost my package. So somebody said that more than likely the label fell out. And when that, when that happens, like fell off the box. And when that happens, sorry, somebody texted me and I'm trying to like read it. I should just ignore it. Can I? Okay. I pushed it off the screen. Um, it's like my work group chat is texting and I'm like, what are they saying? Um, anyways, what was I saying? Uh, yeah. So I guess when the label falls off boxes, they open the box and they like categorize things. That way if people call, they can like explain the item and like find it, I guess. I don't know. Some inventory system. So I was talking to two people this morning about my package and like explaining it's a sand ceremony frame it's a picture frame but it also has like a section for sand to be put in and it's two containers two like apothecary containers and uh yeah they couldn't find it so they lost my package we leave in now 10 days freaking out right so i was like had a mental breakdown freaking out i um emailed the Etsy shop owner. I was like, look, FedEx lost my package. Like you have to help me make this right. Um, what are you going to do about it? Like, can you resend it and overnight it to me? Like something because today is Saturday. So it's the weekend. So they can't, there's not a whole lot you can do until Monday, you know? And then by that point, there's only five days until we leave five business days, technically until we leave. The guy was super nice about it. He was like, Hey, I'll go ahead and make it for you again. I'll ship it out two days I actually called him on the phone he gave me his phone numbers so I called him like crying and I was like what are you gonna do and he was like um I'm, I'll make it today and I'll ship it out today and you should get it by Wednesday so we'll see he's gonna ship it U USPS instead of FedEx so hopefully that helps there's a ton of people I'm like looking out my bedroom window I'm gonna can I show you guys there's about a million people at our pool right now it's 90 degrees in Charlotte and so it's like perfect pool weather and just look at how crazy it is out there so anyways I'm getting super distracted thing is like I ordered this frame well in advance like a month and a half almost two months in advance to avoid anything like this happening and of course it's happening so I think people are understanding and they're you know because I'm like freaking out on them I'm like bridezilla on people and I think they're kind of like oh I understand you're getting married I wouldn't say bridezilla-ing, but I'm like, this is for my wedding. This is a very important piece of our ceremony. And you're telling me that I'm not going to have it in time. Like I'm trying, I was trying to prepare a plan B, like just in case. But anyways, that was the excitement today. Oh, there's people playing beer pong outside too. Huh. Oh, I'm have, having FOMO. Um, anyways, so yeah, maybe I'll grab my outfits and start packing those now. I already showed you guys the outfit I'm going to be wearing there, the little future misses shirt. So I'm going to wear that with some shorts, but here are my outfits for the rest of the week, except for my wedding dress, of course. So for the second day we're there, I have this super cute little two piece outfit that I got. So let me scoot this over. Here is the skirt. So it's like a high, low hem. So, so cute. It's high-waisted, and then the top is this little bandeau top. So stinking cute. I can't wait to wear that. I am going to bring a backup just in case I am feeling bloated or don't want to show my tummy or whatever. So this is a little dress I got from Saved by the Dress. This one, by the way, I got from that Ivy and Leo shop I was telling you guys about before that I believe is only in Charlotte, but they do have an online shop. So, um, And then here is... 
the little tropical off the shoulder dress I got from Saved by the Dress, which is an online shop. It is really low cut, so I'm probably gonna have to safety pin it, but perfect resort dress, right? And then for our spa day, which is Thursday, I'm gonna be wearing this dress right here during the day, and then this dress for our cocktail party. Now, if you watched my video where I showed you all of my little white dresses, I actually found a few more after that video, surprise, surprise, right? That I like a little bit better. So this is what I'm gonna end up wearing as my cocktail dress. I got this from Altered State. They do have this shop in a bunch of different states. I think Georgia has one. Um, they definitely have an online shop. So yeah, this is super cute. It has like a scalloped neckline right here and has these like gold threads in it. It's so cute, A-line. Just very like, I think cocktail appropriate, but yet still white, like a little white dress for bride. And then Friday is our rehearsal ceremony. So this is what I'm gonna be wearing to the rehearsal ceremony. It's just such a pretty like beachy dress. So it has these little arm things right here. And then it is a strapless dress. So these are just to keep it on the hanger, of course. A little sheer mesh panel right here and then it is a I guess maxi length is what that's considered so that will be for the rehearsal ceremony during the day we are gonna have a pool day with everybody so this shirt I got from Express <laughs> a long time ago it still has a tag on it though because I've never worn it but it is like a muscle tank and it says miss and then you flip this up and it says misses so i figured that'd be just a really cute shirt to wear by the pool um my bridesmaids all have shirts that say bride squad and my mom has one too that are the same like muscle tank design so that'll be for the pool and then this is my rehearsal dinner dress you guys have already seen this before but this is from saved by the dress as well and then the day after is our morning after brunch so this is what i'm gonna wear it is an off the shoulder kind of, what do they call this? I don't know, I'm not too sure, but I love these off the shoulder dresses. I think they're just so flowy and girly and cute. So this is from Altered State as well. Super cute and just super like flowy and like bride. <laughs> so that's gonna be, probably I'll wear that all day, I'm thinking. And then the next day is Sunday, which is actually Matt's birthday, but this is my outfit for that day. So it's a little crop top again with the off the shoulders. I'm just obsessed, you guys. And then some white shorts. And then the next day we are leaving. So wait, this is Monday. Oh wait, so this is Sunday, which is Matt's, Matt's birthday. This is Monday. And then this is Tuesday, which is the day that we're leaving. So I have this bride shirt that I got from Express as well. And then some shorts there. So those are all my outfits. And then I did also plan for some backup outfits just in case. So you guys have seen this shirt in videos before. I stinking love this shirt. It's from Express. So I'm bringing that. Then I'm also bringing two t-shirts, like just in case. I don't know, t-shirts are always good to have as backups because they're just so easy. And I don't know, so two backups. And then I'm bringing my leather jacket just in case it gets chilly. I don't think it's gonna be chilly. I mean, it's Punta Cana. <laughs> it's like 80 during the day and 70 at night, but you really never know what's gonna happen. So that, and then a pair of long jeans just in case. So those are my backup outfits, but yeah, that's what I'm packing for clothes. So we just got this in the mail. This is our guest book. So it's like an alternative to a like signing guest book. It is a photo frame and there is a piece of plexiglass that you put in the front. I just pulled it out so I could show you guys so there wasn't a glare. Um, got this off of Etsy. <laughs> I got lots of stuff off of Etsy, but here is what it looks like. So it says happily ever after Matthew and Melissa. And then this is like made out of wood, like it's carved out of wood. That's so cute. It's very fragile though. Um, and then look at how gross Lily's toy is. That's so gross. Here is the little box that you put next to it. So it says guest book, please sign. Whoa, this is weird. Please sign a heart and drop it in the frame so we will never forget our loved ones who came. <laughs> That's actually really cute. I didn't realize it rhymes. So please sign a heart and drop it in the frame. 
so we will never forget the loved ones who came. Super cute. And then here's the little hearts. So I did buy fine tipped Sharpies um, that people can write on these with in the color of our wedding color. So I bought like orchid and mint. So yeah, these will go in here and then people will be able to drop it in the top of the frame back there. And it'll be like, mm, how can I explain? So once everyone drops them in, they'll kind of fall you know, various ways and it'll look like that. And it'll be signed by everybody who came to our wedding. So I thought this was really cute. It is humongous. It is so much bigger than I thought it was gonna be. I don't know, in my mind, I thought it was gonna be the size of like an eight by 10 photo frame and it is humongous, which is fine. We'll definitely find a place in our house to hang this up, but yeah, it's humongous. And I like the fact that it's plexiglass. Um, instead of actual glass because we have to fly this to the Dominican Republic and then fly it back home and I was a little bit afraid that it would break so I like that it's like a well I can show you guys here is here's what it looks like you are supposed to take the blue off this is just like a covering on it so it is clear it looks blue but yeah so there's that it's super so here's the little film you take off. So yeah, it's definitely totally clear. So there's that. I found my markers. They fit in the little box perfectly. So there's that. And then I also wanted to show you guys, these are the place settings or place name cards, I guess is what you can consider them. I actually made these myself. So I ordered these little plastic starfish off of Amazon. And then I printed out everybody's name, glued it on colored paper, and like tied a little ribbon around it. So this is going to be what we place on the tables to kind of give everybody like a name card or, you know, whatever. So I thought that that was just so super cute. Oh, hello, Lily. You're going to get a splinter, baby. Don't sniff that. Don't lick it. No, don't lick it. <laughs> so yeah, I wanted to show you guys that too. I love it. One of them got stuck up there. The good thing is we can pull the glass out and like glue these down once we get back and like kind of put them how we want in case one of them falls upside down or whatever. We can glue them in when we get home. Love this so much. We got our sand ceremony frame today. Thank the Lord Jesus. That actually came super fast. The guy shipped it out on Saturday and today's Monday. So it came incredibly fast. Excuse you, you have been on a barking spree today, Missy. <laughs> so shout out to that Etsy shop owner for making this happen so fast and it's very high quality. It's definitely made out of real wood. There's a glass panel and then the plastic that you pour the sand into is like a separate little container. I of course put our photo in there, it didn't come with that. Um, but yeah, super cute. It comes with this little funnel so you can pour the frame or <laughs> pour the sand into the frame. And then these are the containers that you put the glass in and very thorough instructions too, which is really nice. So yeah, this is such a huge relief. Honestly, I thought that we weren't going to have this in time and I was dying inside a little bit. <laughs> Just kidding. That's a total exaggeration, but that came really fast. It was literally two business days. So Saturday, Monday, today's Monday. So he made it happen and I'm so happy. Such an important part of our ceremony, you know? So I'm glad it came in time. And then I also got my Athleta order today. Let's open this up. So I got a long sleeve white rash guard. The only color they had in a small was white, which I guess is kind of appropriate because it's, you know, bridal. So I'm gonna take that out of the package in a minute. And then this is the like rash guard suit that I got. Um, I got the matching bottoms because I figured I'd probably wanna wear them together. Um, this is long sleeve as well. So I told you guys I wanted long sleeve just to make sure that I don't get sunburned before my wedding. Um, so yeah, let's open these up. Okay, so here's what they look like outside of the package. I didn't realize this was gonna have like ruching right here and I'm not really too sure how I feel about it. I kind of is what it is unless I go in store and see if they have a different one in store. I did try these on. I should have showed you guys when I had them on, but I didn't. I do like the way this feels. I got this in a small um, and it has like little thumb holes, which I really like because then I can protect my hands as well. 
So this has, I think it's 50, where's the tag? Um, uh, unstinkable, that's great. <laughs> yeah, 50 plus UPF. So it's supposed to help protect the sun, um, like 50 SPF would, I believe. So that's really nice. I will just have to make sure that I, of course, put sunblock around my neck. And then here's what the other one looks like. So I tried this on and I'm unsure if I'm supposed to wear a top underneath of this. I don't think I'm supposed to because this goes up to like right underneath my boobs. So, and it provides a tiny bit of support, like not a ton. So I'm curious if I'm supposed to wear a top under this. It didn't seem to be see-through. So I think this just is the top. I might end up going to Athleta this week sometime to buy like a matching bikini top just to be on the safe side. And then I can also wear the bikini top like without this or instead of this, you know what I mean? So this also has 50 UPF protection which is really nice. So there's all that. And then here's the bottoms. The bottoms are reversible, which I think is really cool. And yeah, these don't have, oh yeah, it does have UPF protection as well. Nice. So yeah. So yeah, they match perfectly, but yeah, I think I'm going to try to go to Athleta and get the matching bikini top. Not that I need it, but I just kind of want it, you know? <laughs> I worked from home today, which explains the no makeup. So no judging the no makeup, but I think that's the last of my wedding packages. I think, yeah, that's everything. So I'm not waiting for any more packages. I literally just need to finish packing and then it's wedding time. It's now officially one week until we leave one week, which is just like, so exciting and so crazy I'm so excited to see everybody like I haven't seen my mom since Christmas so I'm really excited to see her and my dad of course um I saw my sister and my sister-in-law and my friends um, for my bachelorette party which still was like six weeks ago so but I'm so excited to see everybody I'm so excited to be there and just it's like Christmas, you know, the anticipation is building up. You're buying things, you're packing things, you're wrapping things, you're making lists, you're checking them twice. And when Christmas actually gets there, it goes by so fast. So I just wanna make sure that my wedding doesn't go by fast like that. <laughs> It'll be a week, it's kind of like a week long wedding, which is exciting, the whole week, like the whole, instead of it being one day or half a day like normal weddings are, like I get to spread mine out throughout a whole week, which is really cool but it's still just really super exciting so yeah I kind of the last thing I need to do is pack my makeup which I'm literally dreading packing my makeup I don't know why I love makeup but there's just so much that I need to pack that it's almost like it's a daunting task you know what I mean so I need to pack my makeup and my makeup brushes but other than that I have everything so I'm ready I'm ready for this